Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be taking a look at some more Transformers Rise of the Beast figures. Now, most of these are the One Steps or the the Battle Changers or whatever they're called, you know, the gimmicky toys, but uh, there's a couple of the mainline figures that you might be interested in hearing about, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start off with the Battle Changer Scourge. So this is kind of a simplified version of the Scourge figure, and uh, for the truck mode, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's got a giant claw and feet on the bag, but I, I think the front of it is fine. I kind of like this olivey color to it with the orange and gray. I, I think that actually suits it. And then we take a look at the back of the packaging, which helps provide a look at the robot mode. And he does have that bladed weapon that does come out of the arm. So if you want that, there you go. But yeah, it's just a simple basic figure. It's like kind of the one steps, but not really. And then we also have this, which is part of the Beast Alliance line. It seems that Scourge is also getting a figure with a Scorponok figure. So this is the second Scorponok we're getting from the Rise of the Beast line. Now that does not confirm that Scorponok is going to be involved with Rise of the Beast as far as the film, but as far as the toy line, he has actually got a design that they're continuing with. So he will be able to transform into Beast armor that will slide on top of the Scourge figure. And the package actually helps provide better images of kind of the idea of Scorpnock. So it seems like most of the Scorpnock, including the tail, will form the weapon while the rest of it will be able to slap onto the Scourge figure as armor. And the Scourge looks okay, not really the best, but it looks okay. And you can, of course, slap this onto any of the Beast Alliance figures that are supposed to work with that armor set. So there you go. There's also this Battle Charger Mirage figure, which I gotta say, I really do like the Porsche mode. Yeah, the painted silver is definitely off from the plastic silver, but I actually think it works really well for the mold itself. And I do like the blue on it. The gray actually complements it pretty well. So I like this version of the Porsche. And then we take a look at the robot mode. And again, it's very chunky. I don't know why Mirage figures are either chunky or they look like barricaded. It, it seems like they can't really nail it. Uh, but you do have the arm that apparently will flip out to form the gun, so that seems kind of cool. But uh, yeah, if you're into that, there you go. There's just a simple little mirage. And then this is something that I wanted to quickly bring up. It seems that there's stock images of not only the mainline deluxe mirage, but as well there's the wheeljack and there's the nightbird. As well, people have spotted the Cheetor, Bumblebee, and Air Razor. So if you're worried about the three pack or just want one from the three packs that we've seen beforehand from the Buzzworthy line, the Jungle Mission three packs, don't worry, you have a chance to get them as a single pack if you just prefer that. For example, I just kind of want the Air Razor. I don't really care for anyone else. Maybe the Wheeljack, but I kind of want to see what Studio Series does. So if I just want Air Razor, I could just pick up Air Razor. No problem. I don't have to get the full set if I don't want it. Anyways, moving right along, we also have this, I think it's the Beast Mode Optimus Prime, so much like the Bumblebee with the bird head. And this is the truck mode that he comes with. It's similar to the other truck modes that we've seen that are very similar to Bulkhead from Transformers Prime, except that this one has eight wheels. Now, it seems that the two in the middle are fake, while the ones on the side are the real wheels that will actually spin. And you can store on the side his blade, which is more of the traditional blade, from the original Transformers Michael Bay movies, so I thought that was actually kind of cool. But considering that it's got a handle, it actually reminds me more of the Dark of the Moon blade that he had. Anyways, uh, there's the robot mode, which looks okay, you know, for an Optimus Prime, it looks alright. You know, you can see the details of the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, especially on the legs, but I think the torso looks fine. It's very blocky, but that kind of works with Optimus Prime, you know? And he does seem to have arm blades as well as the actual sword itself, which plugs in the hand, which is totally fine. And then there's his apparent beast mode, which he gets armor on the side. And then he's got a lion head coming out of the chest. Now, the lion actually makes sense as a reference to Lyle Convoy, but otherwise, it's just kind of a stupid little gimmick. I, I don't know. I, I just don't really care for this. Ooh, a beast head on the chest. That really means much. Uh, but uh, I also wanted to point out that people have found this wheeljack with a Rhinox pack. Now, the Rhinox is a figure that we've actually seen before. It is the weaponizer version of the Rhinox, which I think is fine to have in the multi-pack, and it seems to be colored slightly different. I could be wrong. I haven't seen the actual Weaponizer Rhinox in person, the single pack, but it seems like the gray has a different tone. As far as the Wheeljack is concerned, I think it needs more colors, and when you take a look at the back of the packaging, yeah, it's got more darker grays, and 
you know, a, a different shade for the tan, which I'm not sure if that works either because it seems too different between the contrast of colors, but I don't mind the fact that they're putting in Wheeljack packed in with the Rhinox figure. If you want this like a, a duo pack, you gotta think of it as like a, some of the Toys R Us exclusive packs where they just had extra figures thrown into it. I, I, I think it's something like that, kind of like how when Age of Extinction was coming out, they had an Evolution Bumblebee, which was just the deluxe Bumblebee that came out, and then it also came with a smaller Bumblebee that was mainly just the Legends toy, but it was kind of a neat, you know, duo pack, so kind of like that. Anyways, with that, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and we'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.